every time I look at the X-Force, I see a ton of work, a lot of investigation, a lot of information, particularly on these public collections. There are IPs, malware URLs, you know, and in all these, I always got the feeling of, well, how many of these have affected my system? How, if there is an easy way of actually checking are for all these IOCs quickly in my curator system. And now there is one. Uh, let me actually go back here. And there is an app called the Threat Intelligence app and more details on how you install it and all the things uh, later. But uh, what I want to do is, let's say that I'm looking, uh, I'm interested in looking at uh, PayPal squatting, right? So if I select here, I was checking that already, and I click here, search, it's going to find, going to go into the that uh, X-Force Exchange, and it's going to get all the information about all those campaigns. So let's say that I'm interested in seeing whether any one of the IOCs for this one are present in my system, and also this one, and why not this one as well? And yeah, this one also matched the name. And yeah, this one as well, you know. How about this one? I want to do this in an easy way by just clicking that button. And this scan now is really, what it's basically doing is performing a search. And I can see the results on the search and hopefully I will see nothing in there, right? That the search gives no results. And the, I have this made for uh, 12 hours, but you can go back in a different time and I'll show you how you set that up later and notice that I have the entire AQL for making that search. Nobody's going to create these things, right? Uh, and notice that it, it brings all those IOCs into reference sets that we see in here, right? Okay, now let's go back. We can actually close this one here and we can see the results and we can go one by one and hopefully I will see, you know, nothing but but uh, these or there might be one in particular that I may see some results. And there, sure it is, uh, there is, they are in here. And in fact, if I hover over this particular IP, I can see not only the geolocation about that IP, but also notice the risk score here from the X4 itself. So it's pretty cool. And I can see in here that this URL, and I don't know why most of the things that I see ended up with in, dot .info <laughs> are malicious, uh, but um, it, it found that. Now, that is actually very, very good and actually I can see the details of the actual collection in here and notice that <laughs> that URL right there but there's more to this I can actually go back and by the way this is available both from the new UI as well as the traditional one in case that you are wondering about that when I click in this particular icon, what this is going to do is it's going to bring me the opportunity of bringing whatever collection I want and get those IOCs into reference set. And here is the name of the reference set. So let's say that, uh, you know, I want to bring, let me actually bring this one in particular. So it's called the reference set that's going to be created and populated with is XFE ATF scanning IPv4. So say I'm interested in scanning uh, IPs and you can actually, from the subscriptions uh, status, you can select different categories here, URLs, uh, uh, feed category, etc. Right? So, by just doing what I did, 
I can go into, I mean, actually go into the admin tab and look in, there's a nice, nicer ARP for that. Let me show it to you in the old way. And what I, uh, probably hasn't been done just yet. Let me wait a bit, a bit. Going back here, I should have waited until I get that, that, uh, that particular check mark. One thing that is pretty remarkable is that Today is September 7, 7, 9, 10 p.m. And this thing has been just updated again, right? So I get all those uh, scanning IP. Let me actually, instead of going into the old traditional admin, let me use uh, something better, which is the reference data management. And, and here I am looking at my reference set. You can look at all the uh, data here. I'm scrolling down to the XFE. X XFE and I see here those scanning IP and here's the number right so and I have that reference set with that means is that if I look into any rule let me actually uh, go here on their offenses let me take any offense uh, in here and take any rule you, you'll see that uh, if I click here, I'm going to go into the rules editor. And if I want to do anything with that reference set, all I need to do is look here into the filter for the reference set. And for example, if, uh, if let's say I'm getting URLs and then you add that condition and when any of these properties, what properties? Let's say I put here URL at submit is containing what reference set? Well, I can look in one of those as XFE. Uh, what was the one that we downloaded last? Actually, this one. And here we have, I mean, I have this, I have modified this condition to say this rule will fire only when a URL involved in the uh, events, the logs that contribute to this offense, the URL is contained into that reference set that I just downloaded. So this is actually very, I find it extremely useful because not only I can look into the past and check with those uh, thread uh, IOCs back in time, and, and, and I'll show you in a minute how you configure all this, uh, but also looking into the future, I can make sure that I, that I can download these things and I have my system ready for that. And I think that I should be spending more time in looking at this collection and lo looking at the latest thing instead of wasting time looking for this anywhere else. This is a fantastic service that it will, it's been kept updated for me and I can have my curator leverage all those uh, all those things and you saw that you get the AQL if you want to use it for for something else all that automatically built for it now what is it that you need to do to get this so, so you go on the Xforce exchange and you go to the app exchange where your curator apps are and you look here for threat and I'm gonna look just on the curator apps look at that 241 there are 63 this is the one right this is the thread intelligence app version 2.00 and by the way there was an uh, am I affected feature that was triggered from a browser I found it that it wasn't as fluent and as you know capable of this one and it was hard to get all the IOCs into a reference set so I think this is a much better approach because I'm doing it right from a QReader app. So I downloaded that app and I installed it the, in the traditional way. Now, the first time that you go into the app, you're going to be actually welcomed by a menu that asks you for several things. Number one, you need to generate a token and you know how to do that. You go here on their authorized services. Let me pause the video before I click here. And you generate a token for that intelligence app. 
again, um, in this is a demo system, so that's what I put every scene uh, permanent without expiration. That you should do better than that. Also, you will need to get a license for using this service. Let me actually go back to the app exchange and the, when you are doing the installation of the app and that menu it will there will be a button to click and you can download your trial version and I encourage you to trial that I believe it is at one month uh, and you can actually try that out uh, and I believe that also in the main page of the X-Force there's also a button for getting your trial license look at all these things that are here it's really spectacular yeah here start your 30 day trial so you in there you're gonna get that we with it you're gonna generate an APA AP, API and username kind of a and password combination that you will need to put into your app now that's you will be guided for that so it's actually not difficult at all what is kind of uh, tricky is when you configure your app you're going to be taking into the inputting that token that's the token i mentioned before remember you need to deploy changes every time you generate a token i don't have any proxy settings uh, let me pause the video before i click on the api settings here is the API key and the actual password is also uh, obfuscated in there so uh, that is actually good you click on that button and that validates that boom that your stuff is actually working very well and then there is this section in here in here you the, the, the things that you get from the X-Force exchange in terms of IOCs are mainly source and destination IP um, uh, URLs and, and hashes right now what you do is because in my system i have multiple hashes i have custom properties that are file space hash md5 space hash sha hash fire r5 hash you know and i believe that i even have a sha256 that i haven't put in here and same thing with urls i have url full url pad url host and your system will be different i'll show you where you find those things in a minute but you need to add those and make sure that you put a comma and put those things in between double quotes right otherwise you're going to get a weird error every time you perform a, a scan which is really a, a search they call it a scan uh, once you've done that you save your configuration and you are good to go so to look at your custom properties uh, you probably know this but just in case you go here on the custom event properties and then you perform the searches for example on url and whatever it is that you are looking for and then you find all your custom properties let me actually finish by showing that this app can also be launched from the new ui on dark mode as well it looks actually pretty similar and you can see that this is my trial license uh, so i think you know this is the way that every curator assistant should have uh, you may have all the thread intelligence sources i'm not saying that you should only use the the x-force but uh, i think that this application is uh, is going to be very useful and it will enable you to be more proactive making sure that as soon as something new comes boom i go there and go in my collection and i look back let me back in time and i've been affected by this no okay good let me actually make sure i put these iocs into my reference set so my rules we're looking at it uh, you know, everywhere that I see an IP on on log sources on offenses etc I'll get the risk score so I think it is a very nice uh, uh, application for you to get your trial license and and give it a shot